<laughs> okay, quick tip. Do you have this? This? This little guy? And you're trying to make your input shaper work? Okay, you need to desolder a piece of hardware from here. Okay, hello. So I make this video because I had some problems and I don't know if this helps you, but uh, I'm still gonna make it. But I bought this one to make my clipper machine work with input shaper and test it. This was the only one that I could get in uh, my country. So I'm gonna show it to you. This is how it looks. It has pins on the both sides to make it work. Even if you did your wiring correctly, with your Pipico or without it, you need to desolder resistor R4. So here you have R2, 3, 4 and 5. So this module will not output the correct data for clipper without removing resistor R4. You can see it here, I have some empty pads, I'm sorry for the focus but this is what all that I got. So here it is, I'm gonna close it up, I know it's gonna be blurry, but still. Yeah, this one, R4. You need to desolder this to make your input shaper to read correctly the data from the chip. So here is a Pi Pico, I use some ethernet cable and uh, everything was fine. The wiring. I'm sorry for this, but this is all I got. Yeah, the resistor was the problem. I couldn't make it work after I knocked this off with 350 degrees and with a soldering iron. Uh, everything was good. Thank you for watching. Please share this if it's helpful.